Hi you guys, it's me, Rebecca Black, the Bexa Boss Lady, and I am here in the Shenandoah National Park. And the last time I was here, I don't know if you guys can see me very well, but the last time I was here was last fall, so fall of 2016. And it was right when I was like really, really sick and I didn't know what's wrong with me and I was a permanent patient at doctor's offices. And Erin and I came here and we thought it would be, oh, really great, we're gonna go on a hike. And I, we picked a hike and it was gonna be a great waterfall hike and six miles. And um, we get down to the waterfall, which was three miles in, and it turns out there's no waterfall, so it was all dried up. And then on the way there, we didn't realize how far down we were going, and that then we had to turn around and go back up to the car. And on our way back up, I could hardly make it. And about one mile up, I had to stop like every two minutes and sit down and I was crying and I was super upset that I couldn't do this hike, which is something that we, I could have easily done a couple years ago and before I got sick. And it was a very, not only was it making me physically sick, but I was mentally sick from key, from constantly thinking about the things that I used to be able to do. So I used to be able to go on a hike and I used to be into fitness and I used to be a personal trainer and I used to be really skinny. And until recently, it wasn't until recently that I realized that once I, once I stopped saying used to and start, started saying going to is when things changed. So I am going to make a better decision to pick an easier trail this time. And we did. We came here. Aaron's cousin's in town. Uh, Meredith, we had a great weekend visit. Um, and we came here and instead of setting myself up for failure, I set myself up for success and we picked a trail and I was able to do it and look at this incredible view. So even though it wasn't a really long, super fancy one, I mean, look at this. It's just gorgeous. It's just absolutely gorgeous here. And had I been like, I can't do this, or you know, I don't, I only want to do the biggest and the best, I would have missed out on this incredible opportunity, not only with my husband and our family, but just for life. And it really, changing my mindset has changed so much in my life that I can't emphasize it enough to say that thinking about the future instead of the past is really the only way to live your life when you have a chronic illness. And so this is my very short brief message to you for today that getting rid of the phrase used to in my vocabulary has almost completely transformed my life. So now I say we're going to, and I'm going to, and we will, instead of I used to, and things like that. So hopefully this is a great message with a beautiful scenery and um, a positive message for you. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you check out my other videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.